today we're going to make the rigatoni with butternut squash, thyme and pancetta on page 110. I don't have any rigatoni so we're going to need a different type of pasta for that bit. I have chopped up a butternut squash, a whole one, and I'm going to add it to a pan of boiling water to become tender. Now the butternut squash and the pasta are on to cook, sorry, <laughs> um, and then I'm going to finely chop my garlic and saute it in a frying pan ready for when the butternut squash is cooked. Then we're going to use the garlic. Now in the frying pan with some olive oil and so I'm going to add it to the butternut squash which I have drained and then in the same frying pan I'm going to cook the pancetta. Now I'm going to cook the pancetta until it's nice and crispy. Shouldn't take too long. Salt it, salt it. Yeah. Time to make the butternut squash sauce. So to do that, we're going to add the butternut squash and the garlic. To a frying pan that is on a low heat with the thyme, creme fresh, and a little bit of black. I have a tablespoon of thyme, yeah. fresh thyme, and two tablespoons of low fat creme fresh. I'll just keep it on the heat for a little while longer because the pasta's cooled down. And then serve it up with the pancetta on top. And here is the finished bowl of the pasta with butternut squash thyme and pancetta. Mmm. 